Hey there, it's Dr. Dave here again with another Alice tutorial. In today's tutorial I want to demonstrate the use of the do together as well as the do in order and simple loop constructs. So to do that I'm going to look, go through a very simple example. So I'll begin by clicking on add objects and adding a beach ball to my world. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to be aware of which direction this is facing and so forth. So if we click on the beach ball we move it around, we can see some lines coming out of the beach ball. So you might notice here there's a green line that's indicating the direction of the up, uh, a blue line representing the direction of forward, and a red line coming out of there representing the direction of the right. Okay, so we're going to face it this way such that if we get the ball to move forward, it's going to move across the screen, and if we get the ball to move up, it's going to move up, as demonstrated here. Okay, so first we'll just demonstrate the use of the do together. Ah, sorry, in, in fact, we'll do a do an order first. Do an ordered construct. Drag this into here, and we're going to get the ball to move up one meter and then down. So, to do that, we pull this one over here, get to move up one meter, and after that, we'll get then to move down one meter. So this is what the do and order allows us to do as it, as it suggests it just executes this command once it's complete it then executes that command there. Now the thing that the other thing to note here is each of these commands the default time for the command is one second so this will take one second to complete when it's done this will then take one second to complete. So let's click on that see what it does and we see the ball goes up one meter and then down one meter. Now we can change this if you want to do it five meters. Play. It's up and down. Still taking one second to go up, one second to go down. Let's adjust it again slightly. Let's say two and a half meters so it should stay on the screen. And two and a half meters. And there we have it. So that's a simple demonstration of the do and order command. Now, let's imagine that at the same time that the ball is going up and down, we want it to move across the screen. Now, if we were to just simply drag this into here and go move forward, let's say, two and a half metres, let's see what that does. So we see it moves up, down, and then across. But what we want it to do, in fact, is to get it to, while it's moving, up and down to move across at the same time. So in fact it will go across in a curve like this. So to do that what we need is we need a do together command. So I'm going to drag this up here and get the beach ball move forward command there and I'll drag this in here there as well. So let's see what that does. So let's replay that. We can see it's moving up at the same time it's moving across and then it moves down. Not quite what I want to do. I want to get it to actually uh, move uh, across at the same time it's moving up and down. So I want this block of commands to complete in the same time as this command does. So two ways I can do this. As I said, what each of these commands takes a second, so in total this do and order will take two seconds, whereas this one only takes one second. So I can adjust this, get that to take two seconds. So again we run that, and we see we get a nice curve happening there. Let's adjust that, let's turn that to, uh, let's just do one meter for now, do a small one. And what I want to do is then I want to get this ball to bounce a number of times. Let's say four times across the screen here. So this is the last part. And to do that we're going to use a loop. So we we'll put the loop in here and we'll get it to do four times. And then we'll drag this block of code into here. We'll click on play. And there we have it, we see the ball bouncing across the screen four times. And if we want to do a few adjustments on it, we can drag this further back. 
and I'll change this to uh, let's go three meters so I push that slightly further back click on play again and there we have it so we've got a combination of a do an order initially to get the ball to move up and down combine that with a do together again being careful with the timing there because remember these when we work out the timing of a do an order we need to add the times together so we get one second and one second gives us two seconds so we need to match that up to get that smooth movement so that gives us moving up and down at the same time moving across and then finally to get that to happen four times we add a simple loop and that's all there is to it all right so i hope that's helpful that's a small introduction to some of the simpler constructs in alice and i'll see you next time for the next tutorial